Yeah, so you actually were a real wrestler. You were a real that wrestler. That's what I said. Greco Roman. You know what is the toughest sport in the Olympic? What was that? What is the toughest sport in the Olympic game? The toughest Boxing. One? Boxing. No. Um, track, 100 meters. 100 no. meters. Synchronized no. swimming. Greco Roman and freestyle. No, that's, 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 that's the hardest? That's for Dan Severn's Greco Roman. No, what the fuck? You're making fun of that, Jean. Uh, the toughest sport is in the Olympic freestyle and Greco Roman. So that's why I grew up. So, uh, professional, also uh, hard. You have to go to school, you have to train, yeah. you have to practice if you want to be cha if you want to be chaplain. So from all America, AAU gold medal. So I made it to be the my Hall of Fame ring. That's the Hall, That's Hall of Fame in wrestling? Right. In the in the in the you, my name is WWF yeah. Hall of Fame? W yeah. Of course. If Iron Sheik it. isn't in the in the Hall of Fame. No, you Jesus. it's go look it up on the internet, it's massive. The, no, I know they it's have like a, be. it was no, but it's a huge like event when they inducted him and people got it. Yeah, as a matter of fact it was to go to California, Los Angeles, and then uh, uh, all uh, they call them uh, Holy Fame, 2005, I'd uh, make it to the Holy Fame. Hmm. So any questions? Yeah, that was 2005 that that happened? Right. Yeah, See, right. 2005, I, right. So, hey, what do you think about... Um, wait, I want to I wanna, I wanna make sure I think about this correctly. Brian Blair? Are you, are you guys still... I love me, Brian Blair. That Brian guy, Blair. No, but didn't you guys get into shit at, when he came... Didn't he come to show you respect and, you, and then you hit him or something? Right, uh, but... Uh, Everybody know in the Silver Dome, Pontiac, Michigan, 93,000 people. I had the brand brain in the camel clutch. He was lucky I had such him dug in. Come save him. Save him. Otherwise, I was ready to put him in the camel clutch, break his back, and fuck his ass, make him humble. So he was lucky I had such him dug in. Come save him. Do you have any pro like, I... What's with Mario, the guy from Saved by the Bell? Like, I, does that have anything to do with you? Or who's putting your Twitter updates? Because you're talking shit about Mario. Mario Lopez? Somebody, I don't know. It's all, They're always talking. Who is this, Jean? That's the guy that made fun of you, remember? Oh, Who's, is that what it is? Red, on the red carpet, Mario Lopez. Oh, oh, Mario Lopez is just, he's a punk. Jabroni. He was lucky he, he, he get that position. But now I'm happy. Because that little punk I watched him in was a school, but now I have a good position that show nice to seven o'clock, what do you call uh, and, entertainment? Oh, right, yeah. ET, entertainment tonight or something like right, that. Right, right. <laughs> so, but uh, Mario Lopez is not out of shit class. He's not a Hulk Hogan class. He's just a little punk. Yeah. Very lucky, right time, right place. And he sucks somebody ass, and he have that job. But he's a jabroni compared to an orange sheet. <laughs> what about Anderson Silva? Did you see that performance that he... Do you watch MMA, UFC? Do you watch UFC ever? I watch the uh, UFC. Uh, sometimes they're working hard. They are tough in sports. And they are real shooting. They are real wrestling. One of the toughest, uh, toughest one I saw. But my old days was a good friend I had, Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know his Cam Oh, yeah, he's a friend of mine, yes. Right. Cam Shellrock was a good shooter, good fighter. But if you go ask Cam Shellrock who is a good shooter, he's going to tell you Aaron Sheik. That's a trip. You know? hey. Now, what do, you, what do you think about the people that say that uh, um, wrestling is uh, it's acted out? I mean... See, they don't know. They, uh, we took him in the ring, and then we show him hard way, mm -hmm. and then they believe it. Old country. Old country way. So Make him humble. <laughs> right. yeah. So, so uh, when you did wrestling, there wasn't a predetermined outcome. It was, uh, it was, was it like you guys were really fighting? Of course. Okay, I'll just. Yeah, because see, if if uh, wrestling is it was easy, everybody wants to be a wrestler, to be the champion, make a million million dollar. But if you don't have to pay for his due, they have to show him a hard way. And wrestling is the toughest sport, like I said, one on one in the vision. So if you want to be good, you have to practice all your own training. What makes the people be perfection? Practice, training. Yeah. Without training, without practice, it's hard to be champion. Eddie, do you think that 
wrestling is the best base for MMA? Wrestling is definitely the best base for MMA. G guys that go up wrestling, they're it's different powerful. humans. They're just so much stronger than any other athlete. Exactly. They can control. They can so pick heavy. people up and slam them. Exactly. Very important for MMA. Sure. Brock. Yeah, that's what I think too. I think that's what. Is. What do you think about Brock Lesnar? Well, he's from Minnesota. My student, Brad Rigans, helped him become my student. Brad Rigans, all American and Olympic Munich and um, Montreal Olympic game. And Brad Rigans, my student, helped the. Uh, a uh, wrestler, and he's a good now. He's good. I heard he lost the belt, right? Uh, no. No, no. Brock Lesnar? Yeah, he's a champion now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He, he got the belt. belt. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's just got sick is what happened. And, oh. And, and they had an interim belt, but he still got his the real belt. Yeah, they weren't Beautiful. sure they were going to do because he got really sick, but he's back now. That and, I heard he was sick. Now he's scary. okay now, right? Yeah. Oh. Did you like him while he was doing pro wrestling? Were he, you a fan? Yeah, he was, a, he was a good performer and from Minnesota. And a good wrestler, yes, uh, good athlete, he's all right. Did you like his, his persona on WWF? Right. It was good? He exactly. was a bad guy, right? Right, he was a bad Brock guy. Brock Lesnar, I don't, I don't know. He's a bad guy to me, just period. Exactly. Yeah. He's still a bad guy, even in UFC. He, yeah, he definitely must have been a bad guy, because in real life, he's a bad guy. You can't be baby face and be a fucking ass, uh, like an asshole in real life. What are you talking about, dude? Celebrities do that all the time. Right, right. <laughs> Celebrities he's do that shit all the time. Huh? He's a real heel. He babyface that means good guy. Right. He never can be babyface, right? No. Oh, is that what they call good guys babyface? Oh, good guy okay. babyface and bad guy villain. Heel. They call or him heel. villain, they call him heel, right? Yeah. Were you ever a good guy? Were you ever a babyface? Never. Never a babyface. Never. Face. Fuck that, huh? Because yeah, I was a natural heel. Because yeah. I'm Iranian yeah. from all country and uh, and uh, you know, I cannot be baby fish because compared to an all American boy, all cold. Hulk Hogan was a baby fish, not me. <laughs> how many times did you fight Hulk Hogan? Oh, I imagine my sister Garden. Mm -hmm. After uh, six years, nobody beat Mr. Bob Backlund. I beat him my sister Garden. And then also, I lost my belt to Hulk Hogan. And then I had a return match, maybe one or two times. I should have given more return match. But it was only one or two times in the match. Nice. So you he you had three three matches, total with Hulk Hogan or more? Maybe more. Five. I'll forget ten. And how many times did you beat him? Did you ever get to beat him? No, I never <laughs> get beat him. Only he beat me for the first time, myself for my belt. The reason, um, because oh, fuck what I'm dumbass. 